when we bring the mind to concentration, we start out with right resolve. The resolve to find a happiness that doesn't have to depend on sensuality, doesn't depend on ill will, thoughts of ill will, doesn't depend on thoughts of doing harm. Do we have to look inside? Tell ourselves, this is where we're going to find happiness, this is where we're going to find well-being. Where does right resolve come from? It comes from understanding that the causes for suffering come from within. And the first thing you've got to deal with is craving for sensuality, which means that you've got to find another, another form of happiness. So this is it. This is the raw material from which you're going to construct that happiness. Sometimes it doesn't look all that promising. There's pain in this part of the body, pain in that part of the body, a general feeling of antsiness all over. So we've got to learn how to breathe in a way that soothes those feelings. It gives you at least some place in the body where you can take your stance and say, this is where I'm going to stay, and then you can settle in. To find some, some one spot that feels comfortable and learn how to look after that. I had a student one time who had bought an old house and been abandoned for about 20 or so years. And drunkies had moved in, moved out, moved in, moved out, made a mess of the place. But the basic house was sound, so he felt it was worth it. So he invited me one time to bless the house. And by that time, he had created a little corner in the house where he could stay. Most of the house was still a mess, but that one little corner where he stayed, that was neat, that was tidy, everything was in order. And that was enough to begin with. And then from there, gradually, he re did the whole house. But it's the same way with the breath. Sometimes it doesn't seem like there's much in different parts of the body. We'll find at least one spot where you can maintain a sense of ease as you breathe in, ease as you breathe out, between the in-breath and out-breath. Don't squeeze things, don't push things. Allow that sense of well-being to just be there, and let it, then let it radiate out from there. And that's your first expression of right resolve, leading into right concentration. It may not be into the jhanas yet, but at least you're acting in line with right resolve. You're looking for your happiness here, you're trying to figure out what are the potentials here. In the beginning it may not seem like there are many potentials, but they're there. to look after them, tend to them. And just because they're not full-blown rapture and pleasure yet, don't throw them away. The more intense feelings start with little feelings. So start with the little feelings that you find here that at least are okay. Protect them. You might think of another image of lighting a fire on a windy day. As long as the fire hasn't really caught you have to cup it with your hands, protect it from the wind. And then ultimately it will catch enough so that it can withstand the wind and not get blown out. But as long as it's still windy and the fire is still small, you've really got to protect what you've got. Because if you don't protect what you've got, where are you going to find the potentials for anything better? The good things come from what you have. So take care of what you have, and then it will show you its potentials.